family, we just grew up every weekend going to the mountain. It was a fun family activity, and my brother and I absolutely loved it. So our parents decided that we should join the race team because lessons were a little bit more expensive, and maybe it was kind of daycare for them. So they threw us onto the race program, and I just tried to chase them all around the mountain all the time. I think from a young age, I knew that I wanted to pursue ski racing. I, Went to the 2002 Olympics, watched Julia Mancuso, and I remember just being inspired in that moment, being like, this is what I want to do, and kind of never really looked back from that moment. When I was younger, I was a good tech skier. I was um, pretty fast in slalom, okay in GS, and as I got older, I, I transitioned to doing more speed and, and just loved attacking and just sending it as hard as I could in the speed events, and I would definitely call myself a downhiller. I think it, it means that you have that that uh, intensity and fire to just want to go as fast as you can, always trying to find the fall line and always trying to find every little ounce of speed that you can. You know, someone that loves to catch air and work a lot of little bits of terrain, and, and I think that's definitely um, what I am. I'd call myself a downer for sure. up speed skier I think takes time you, know, you it's kind of a veterans discipline where you need to learn the tracks over time and um, kind of get the experience under your belt and so I think now coming in my fifth year I'm more comfortable in the scene and, and with the different venues and um, I've been fortunate to have great mentors on the team and Lindsay especially has taken me under her wing and a couple years I wasn't funded and she kind of helped fund my career and I was really grateful for that and if there's anything that I, I need help with you know, nowadays it's on the on the track with inspection or off the slopes just anything for advice she's always there helping me out and um, yeah it's been awesome to have a great friend and role model like that. When I was younger I would look at a lot of the older girls and see certain rituals that they would do and how they would prepare and it as a young skier, I think it puts in your mind a certain way you have to be. But I've I realized a, a lot that I don't, personally, I don't need to do a lot to hype myself up. But I, I like to listen to, you know, just some pump up music to kind of put me in a good mood, just go over the course a bunch of times in my head. So it kind of becomes subconscious when I'm skiing. I don't have to overthink, because I just think thinking slow. So I don't want to have to overthink when I ski and just let everything go. Um, so yeah, just try to, have fun with it and I think when I have fun I ski really well. <laughs>